What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're gonna to be taking a look at my current squat pull-up rack setup, which is the Colorado Strength Rex Half Rack. So previous to this, I had the Rogue SML2. I think that's still one of the best squat pull-up rack combos that you could possibly buy. It's $445. Uh, but if you were to add the half rack conversion to that, it would bump it up like another $260 and then that's not even including shipping on both the items, which is probably going to be another like $200 at least to the West Coast. The Rex half rack, which is a squat pull up rack and then it does have the half rack conversion already included with it is $560. So that's quite a bit cheaper than the SML2 uh, with the half rack conversion. And then shipping to me was only $135. It does ship from Colorado, uh, Colorado, which is a little bit closer to California than Ohio is gonna be. So I do save out a little bit there. The actual build quality between this and the Rogue is, is pretty much identical. I mean, this is built just as well as the Rogue is. It does use a lot of the same like style components. It has 11 gauge steel 3x3 tubing all throughout this rack. So the one thing that this beats out the Rogue in is the base. The base of the Rogue is 2x3 tubing and this is 3x3 tubing. That does give it a little bit more height but it does also give it a lot more stability as well. The front posts here are supposed to be 93 inches but I had them cut mine down so I could fit it in a little bit better to my garage. I didn't really need to do that, but I just did it anyways. I don't know, I just did uh, the measurements off uh, a little bit off. So mine is a little bit shorter than the actual product that you might order. You can also have them custom cut yours if you want. I'm sure they would charge a certain fee for that, uh, but you can have that option. And then mine is the bright blue colorway. For the Rogue, you'll have to pay a little bit more. For this, you'll have to pay a little bit more as well. This is, I think it's $100 to get pretty much any of the colors that you want. Uh, there's like green, a darker blue, a yellow. There's a lot of cool colorways, or you can just get the standard flat black. Another similarity between this and the Rogue is that this uses 5 8 inch hardware as well. So that's very similar to the Rogue. And the nice thing about that is because it uses 5 8 inch hardware, it accepts pretty much all of the same attachments that Rogue sells. So right now I have the Rogue J hooks on here and I do have the Rogue storage pins for plates and I usually put these on the back but if I wanted to add a little bit more stability to the Rex squat rack say I'm doing kipping pull-ups or I'm doing a lot of kipping pull-ups, butterfly pull-ups, I'll take these and I'll just add them to the base of the rack put the pin through and then put some plates on top of that. That's something that you can't do to the Rogue unless you buy their option, which I don't think you could use anyways if you had a half rack on the Rogue as well because you would use the back two holes to secure that. So that's probably not something that they intended anyone to do, but I thought that that was a pretty neat little thing that I could do because I have some Rogue attachments already. The distance between the front and the back post is 13 inches in between. The actual like depth of them in total is 19 inches in total. I'm not so sure you're going to be able to use pin pipe safeties from Rogue. I think they make a 16 inch one. Um, that might work, but I am not sure. Don't quote me on that one. If you try it out, uh, it might or might not work. Raptor Fitness does sell a host of attachments for this. You can get spotter arms, you can get um, storage pins that actually are just held on by nuts and bolts. And you can get a mammoth pull-up bar, which extends the height of the pull-up section to 108 inches tall. So if you're one of those taller athletes, you could go for that. It's kind of like getting the Rogue SML3, um, but that is an option here. The pull-up bar is a powder-coated pull-up bar. It's 1.25 inches in diameter, pretty much just like the Rogue. The powder coating that they're using is actually pretty good. It's pretty, pretty rough, pretty tacky. Uh, I'm not going to say that you can easily use this without chalk and not slip off or anything, but I found that it's pretty grippy. The pull-up bar adjustments are 3.5 inch spaced. I have mine pretty much all the way to the top, 
The flanges of the pull-up bar itself kind of go over the total height, but keep in mind, uh, mine is cut a little bit shorter, so I think if you were to have the taller uprights, that really wouldn't be a problem. The actual hole spacing throughout the squat range here is one and a half inches. So it's a little bit different than Rogue's two inches. Uh, there is no west side spacing or anything like that, but I've never really had any issues with spacing for my bench press or anything. Just because it has that one and a half inch spacing. Uh, there is three inch spacing at the bottom of the rack. I don't know what that would be for. Um, it's just a little weird that the spacing becomes that distant at the bottom of the rack, but uh, I don't really foresee very many people using this area of the rack. Uh, that does carry on into the back post as well. It does have one and a half inch spacing pretty much all throughout the squat portion. I don't think you could squat in this, but you should be able to bench press in it. But like I said, I'm not sure where you'd be able to get some pin pipe safeties to bench press in there. I typically just bench press on the outside uh, just because I don't really care to bench press in there. Um, the actual stability of this rack when doing like kipping movements is excellent. I don't really even need to put any plates down on the front, uh, but I just do just to get it a little bit more stable. It does rock around a little bit when I do like toast the bar, kipping pull-ups, but I'm not worried about it tipping over at all. It's a very heavy, solid rack. The shipping weight to me was 400 pounds in total. I mean, that's including the pallet. Uh, but it is a heavy, heavy rack. I don't actually know the total weight because I have no way to weigh this rack. It's just, it's gigantic. A nice little detail is that the cross members that attach the front and back posts have the Raptor logo laser cut into them. There's also an R Raptor logo that's laser cut into the side of each upright and the back uprights as well. Uh, it just has a clean aesthetic to it. I think it really looks cool and adds to the overall look of the Rex half rack. Now, going on to some of the things that I don't like about this rack. Uh, and there's not a ton of them, but the biggest one is the J hooks. So you might be wondering why I'm using the Rogue ones in conjunction with the Raptor ones. And it's mainly because I think the Rogue J hooks just, they fit better. Uh, there's not a whole lot of space that's left over between the Rogues, uh, but with the Raptor ones, there's a ton of space. So uh, it's a little bit of an annoyance uh, because the bar, with, when it's loaded with weight, will just end up rolling forward um, and always get caught at the front of the J-hook, which I know is not that big of a problem, but if you're worried about protecting your bar's knurling, it can be an issue. Another thing that I don't really like about the J-hooks is that they're quite a bit shorter than the Rogue J-hooks. Um, so when you go to rack the bar, you can kind of go over and like hit the rack. So I don't really like that about these J-hooks as well. Otherwise, I mean, they work and if you didn't have anything better, it would be fine. But since I have the Rogue J-hooks uh, to compare it to, I do think that they could improve the design of the actual J-hook. But otherwise, I think that the squat rack is freaking excellent. It is a tank. I don't miss the Rogue SML2 at all from having this thing here. Uh, like I said, it is super sturdy. I can like rock, kick, and hang, and do all kinds of crazy shit on this. And it is locked down. It's sturdy as hell. If I needed to weigh it down anymore, I could just you know, just put some plates up the front or I could use the Rogue storage pins, put them on there and it would weigh down the front of this thing. Uh, but like I said, uh, it really isn't an issue. One of the worst things about having this rack is that it is a pain to move around because of how heavy it is. So if you are considering this rack, make sure that you have ample space in a certain area for it because once it's going there, it's not gonna move very far. Um, so, do keep that in mind when you're shopping for the squat rack, but that pretty much applies to, you know, pretty much any other squat rack as well. So another thing that I wanted to just kind of throw into this review, just because uh, it's a product from Colorado Strength, the Raptor Fitness as well, is their Colorado barbell. So they sent this to me for a review as well. This is an American made barbell. I'm going to rack it so I don't have to hold on to it this whole time, but 
Now this barbell is their multi-use barbell. It's 28.5 millimeters in diameter. So taking a look at the actual measured diameter of the barbell, it's measured in at 29.06 millimeters. So it's a general use barbell. It's not gonna be the best Oli bar, though I do think that this shaft has pretty good whip. It's 190K PSI tensile strength. Uh, the coating that I have on mine is black zinc. I think it only does come with the black zinc coating as well. Uh, and it's not, I mean, it's a good coating, but it's very slick. Uh, and some of those sweatier sessions, I did notice that this bar was slipping off my chest doing like jerks or even doing back squats. Though I did take this bar up to a 400 plus back squats with no issues. Uh, and that was done on this rack, no problem. Uh, this rack is for sure going to be able to hold up any weight that I'm putting up personally. Uh, the knurling on this bar is a medium to more aggressive knurling. It's got some good depth to it. It's a little bit on the sharp side. Uh, it's definitely more aggressive than the French Cerakote, but that might also be because this is a zinc coating and not a Cerakote coating. It does have dual markings, so you've got your IPF and IWF markings. Um, and those are cut very clean, so uh, that's one detail that I do like when my barbells, I don't like to see a lot of cross hatching happen there. Uh, but it is a minor thing. It does have dual oil light bushings. The sleeves on this bar spin very, very smooth and very, very well. That's another thing that I really like about this barbell. The sleeve shoulders have a little channel that's cut in them and then they have this identification band on the Colorado barbell. It says Colorado barbell, which is a nice little touch. It's got like the Colorado flag there. Uh, it's really cool looking. Uh, and if you're from Colorado, I think that that might be a reason alone to pick up this barbell. And the sleeves themselves are coated with bright zinc. They do have a slight ribbing to them to help keep plates on. Uh, so I haven't really noticed it doing all that much, but it's, you know, it's there. So right now this barbell is sold out, but normally it only like retails for like $250 or maybe even less than that. I remember there was a deal that this bar was selling for like $230, which is a ridiculous price, especially for a made in the United States, uh, 28.5 multi-purpose, multi-use barbell. With these specs, this coating, this kind of finish, it's a really, really good deal. And that's what I think the general consensus from Colorado Strength is, is that they make very nice things, very high quality products for a pretty good value, like the Rex half rack. Like I said, it's $560, comes with a half rack, it's sturdy as all hell. Shipping obviously is kind of gonna be an X factor when buying a squat rack, uh, but I think it's a great deal. I think that the barbell is an excellent pickup as well if you're looking for a multi-use barbell. The knurling's not quite for me. Um, I don't really like aggressive knurling, but somebody's gonna like it. And I don't think it's unusable. I can definitely use it in my sessions, but I prefer a lighter knurling. So that is it for the Colorado Strength or Raptor Fitness products. I don't really know which name they want me to go with, but I think that these are excellent. I think that they're a little bit overlooked because there are some other big names out there, but they do make some high quality gear. Make sure that you guys check them out if you're looking for stuff that is, it's not on the cheap, but it is definitely a good value if you're shopping for something like a half rack, a nice power rack, or even a great barbell for a great price. If you guys have any questions about the Colorado Strength equipment stuff that I have here, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.